Welcome back to my little channel. Now, I know that the coronavirus is a thing and um, obviously the identitarians have an issue because all the attention goes to corona and not to the identitarians. But fortunately, The Guardian has published a poem. You clap for me now. The coronavirus poem on racism and immigration in Britain. Well, obviously nothing can go wrong with that one, can it? Uh, anyway, I'm going to comment on it and I'm going to do it step by step because um, it is rather interesting to see. It really is. But I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to play the devil's advocate a bit. So criticism, as always, is more than welcome. I look forward to hear what you think. If you think I have it all wrong and I really shouldn't see it like this. Or that maybe you agree with me. I know, I know, we're such racists if we agree. But somehow that word never had any meaning to begin with. And what little value it had. It has surely lost in the last few decades. So yeah, no, there is that. Sorry for the background noise, my rabbits are running around and they haven't been for a few days, so they're really happy, so they're doing all sorts of stuff they're not supposed to do, but hey, I'm not going to stop them, but you might hear them. Um, having said all of that, this is the video. So, it's finally happened. And then the question obviously becomes, what finally happened? That thing you were afraid of. What is it that I was so afraid of? Something's come from overseas. Yeah, there are lots of foreigners coming from overseas. And it, it may be nasty of me that I'm not always pleased with it, but it, it, it's not something that fears me. It's, it's more something that upsets me. It's not that I don't want foreigners to come, but... Um, they're lacking in integration and, and we're taking in too many foreigners so we don't give them time to integrate and this causes lots of small problems within society cultures clashing this isn't good for anyone not for the migrants uh, or immigrants sorry and and not for the the domestic civilization yeah domestic civilization why not so yeah no i mean getting in a lot of new faces isn't per se bad but doing it too fast kind of forces people to be unable to acclimatize to it both the immigrants and the natives but i'm pretty sure that that's not what this is about sorry something has come from overseas and it finally happened and we fear it okay and taken your jobs Something has come from overseas, we fear it, and they have taken our jobs. See, that's the thing. They're surely talking about immigrants. And immigrants have come from overseas and taken our jobs. They took our jobs! I probably should just get that clip in there. They took our jobs! 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 The thing is, though, whether we agree with it or not, it is a sentiment that is explainable, a sentiment that a lot of people have. And here you are downplaying it. Seems counterproductive to me. Made it unsafe to walk the streets. Well, this is also true. I mean, how many big cities in the UK seen a rise in in small crime um, hell london is 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 the highest non bangladeshi uh, city when it comes to acid attacks that's not a typical london thing to do you know i guess that's why they're second to bangladesh only and, and we do see a lot of violence i mean in london they try to stop people from having knives because there's so much knife violence again this is not something typical for the british population this comes with the influx of new citizens call them that new citizens kept you trapped in your home 
Well, there are people who are, for example, in Luton and in Birmingham, talking on how they are afraid to leave their houses because the streets are too unsafe for them. You're not to mention it, obviously, because if you do, you're a racist. Somehow, I kind of have the... Well, obviously, I know that this is not what they're talking about. But you see how everything they say can be interpreted and, and explained in an anti-migrant lens. Completely justifiable. A dirty disease. See, because they're not talking about foreigners. They're talking about a disease. Though I have to admit that there will be racists who will call foreigners diseases. I wouldn't do that. I see them still as humans, but I can understand that people would call the influx of Pakistanis or blah 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 a disease of society. But yeah, no, we're not talking about that disease. We're talking obviously about the, what was it, Wuhan flu? <laughs> Kong flu? I don't know. Coronavirus. Covid-19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Your proud nation gone. Which proud nation is gone because of the coronavirus? Surely not the British Empire. Well, the British Empire maybe. But the UK surely hasn't fallen. Nor has the United States of America, Germany. Hell, Italy and Spain are devastated. Well... Devastated is a big word. They've been hit hard, but the nations aren't gone. It's, it's kind of funny, though, because, and, and, and this probably is not nice of me to say, the incredible hits they were given could have prevented if they had closed their borders before the virus came into the country. And there isn't a country in the world that can't say the bloody same thing. Because we know where this virus came from. It could have prevented spread if we just did not allow these people to leave Wuhan. Or definitely not allow them into our societies. Unfortunately, we went on cruises with these people. <sighs> There's something to be said for border hygiene. Let's, let's call it border hygiene on this one. If I, I like the word border hygiene. I'm, I'm going to try to hashtag it. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be it. But not me. Well, no, obviously not you. You're already in this country. Well, in this case, in the UK. And I don't really mind that you were in the UK if you were a participating member of the UK workforce. And let's assume that you were. But unfortunately, you're also an identitarian because now all of a sudden it's more important that you are a foreigner than that you are someone in the British workforce. I wonder why. Or me. Or me. Or me. Yeah, all of you. All of you are people who live in Britain. Maybe you're born there, but your heritage doesn't come from there. Initially, I do not have a problem with that. To me, there's always a simple rule. Learn the language, abide the laws, and sustain yourself. If you do those three things, you, you can speak to people in their own language, you obey all the law of the lands, and you earn your keep in a legal way, where do I care where you come from? still don't care. I mean, you're a contributing member to society. There are plenty of contributing members to society I disagree with. You could be one of the other many contributing members of society I disagree with. It doesn't make you a non-contributing member of society. Funny enough, though, when we look at migration or immigration or the refugees or whatever you want to call them, an awful lot of them aren't contributing members of society just like the coronavirus they're not contributing they're merely taking away so i'm not quite sure why you identify with them when you're working members of the society shouldn't you identify with the rest of britain and and rail against the parasites that basically eat up society because in all fairness and and, and this is a joke no not joke but a point i often make when i talk to to 
foreigners in the Netherlands, and I, I only meet them when they are at work because that's my lot in life. I talk to people whilst they're working. Um, you have a job. Who cares whether you're Dutch or not? I'm, I'm Dutch, by the way. Who cares whether you're English or not? You have a job. You contribute to society. You pay taxes, you speak the language, and you work for a living just like the rest of us. Trust you me, no one seems to have a big issue with you. There are still people who have an issue, but yeah, there are always exceptions to the rule. But when people talking about migrants, they're not talking about you. They're talking about the people who are raiding beaches and, and throwing acid in the faces or stabbing or hitting people with hammers whilst driving around on their moped, whilst trying to steal mobile phones or raping our daughters. Let's not pretend those things don't happen, shall we? So yeah, no. No, you clap for me now. No. You cheer as I no. toil. No, 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 I'm not clapping for any of you. I'm not playing that game. I'm grateful for what you do, but trust you me, there are people who are grateful for what I do as well. And that's why we get a pay, isn't it? You don't have to virtue signal. Oh, look at how great you are. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you're brilliant working in healthcare. Fuck you. I work in healthcare too. And um, yeah. It's our job. Now, I don't work in a supermarket like this guy. He's not bringing food to our family. He's selling food to our family. And all the power to him. I'm not trying to denigrate it. But this is not some kind of benevolence on these parts of these people. They're getting paid for what they do. And all the power to them. But can we stop the virtue signal, please? And And... Let's be honest, when people talking about foreigners, they're not talking about these foreigners because they work for a living. Well, maybe some people do. Maybe some people are complaining about how they took our jobs. They took our jobs! They took your jobs! They took your jobs! They took your jobs! Fair enough. Don't always agree with that, but I can understand where it comes from. So what? Oh, and uh, I'm not sure whether I should call you Ahmed or not. You're wearing that mask upside down, mate. Now, I didn't want to make fun of you because you will look like an idiot wearing a mask upside down. But um, you look like an idiot wearing a mask upside down, mate. The other thing is pinched like that because you put it over your nose. And then again, they made you wear the mask, didn't they? It's not something you're wearing. They made you wear the mask for this bloody film, didn't they? Just so to show the world, look, look at how good these people are. Hell, if, if you're actually running a shop yourself, then they don't have to convince me you're doing a good job. You, you're running your own shop. You're a contributing member of society. And again, whether I agree with you or not is absolutely not an issue. But hey, let's virtue signal, shall we? A family bringing food from your soil. Okay, so you're a farmer then, mate. Press X to doubt, considering those hands, but yeah, sure. Propping up your hospital. Okay, the hospital thing in um, the UK is, is really interesting. Do they have foreigners working at the National Health Service? Yeah, I think about 13% of the NHS is foreigners. 13%. That's quite a lot. 13%. That's, well, a little bit more than 1 in 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but considering that 20% of the UK is foreigners, I would say foreigners are underrepresented in the NHS. So you're not propping up our hospitals. You're barely lifting your weight. And it's unfair because I shouldn't look at you as a representative of immigration. But you put yourself away as a representative of immigration. And as an individual, you're doing a great job. You're working, you're paying taxes, you're trying to do good for your country, the country you live in now, fair enough, all the props to you. But here you are portraying yourself to be a representative of immigration. And if you're a representative of immigration, you are failing. You are underrepresented in the NHS. 
Tell me again why I should be proud of you being a representation of a community within Britain that is larger than within the NHS. Seems rather unfair, doesn't it? Seems rather unrealistic. Not some foreign invader. I'm not sure what your job is, mate. No doubt you have one, though. Probably, probably not. And it could be a coincidence, but your necklace does seem to spell out ISIS. But that's probably a coincidence. Or not. I don't know. But yeah, sure, mate. I'm not sure if you're a foreign invader. That's up to you. The delivery driver. Oh, never mind. I wanted to respond to the delivery driver. Obviously, he's an Eastern European guy. And uh, we know that from the UK, there are people in the UK that have problems with people from Eastern Europe. But at the same time, we know that people from Eastern Europe work hard. No one really has an issue with that. The ones that do have an issue with that have an issue with every foreigner, whether they work or not. They took our job! They took our job! They took our job! They took our job! Uh, here we go. Teacher. I wonder what you teach, mate, but if you're a teacher, I'm grateful for your service. Want a cookie? Lifesaver. You're not a lifesaver. This is a lifesaver. Don't say go home. Funny enough, I live in the Netherlands. I was born in the Netherlands. And uh, last year, I had a, a conflict with a woman of Middle Eastern descent. Guess what she told me? But I'm not to say it to other people. That's not how it works. When people tell you to go home and you made your home in the UK, you tell them, thank you, this is my home, I am home. But that doesn't fit well with the victim narrative, does it? Don't say, not here. I'm really sorry, my dear. You sound Eastern European. I'm pretty sure you work hard. And I'm kind of wondering who told you not here. Nor am I sure what kind of job you're doing. But hey, that doesn't really matter. I know from people who came from Eastern Europe, who lived in the UK, who held jobs there, who had colleagues from the UK that were grateful that they were there. Not because they came from Eastern Europe, but because they did a good job. I, I think that's the main thing people should be looking at. You know how it feels for her to be a prison? No, we don't know how it is for a home to be a prison. Even though we are in lockdown, we still don't know how it is for a home to be a prison. It's a, it's a false equivalent, don't you think? You know how it feels to live in fear. No, we know how it feels to be forced to live in fear. That's not the same thing. We're not afraid. We're made afraid. We're created to worry. So you clap for me now? No. All this love you are bringing. But don't forget when it's no longer quiet. Don't forget when you can no longer hear the birds singing. You mean when I'm dead? I, I tend not to remember things when I'm dead, I accept. I mean, I, I'm not sure. I have to admit, I've never been dead before. Then again, the birds also don't sing during the night. So maybe you mean during the night. But during the night, I do have some worries. Because, um, well, let's say there are people in our society who don't really adhere to the idea of private property. And I want to say that all of them are migrants because um, that's unfair. There are non-migrants who don't adhere to private property either. It's just that migrants seem to be overly represented in that group. It could be, uh, surely, it could be a coincidence. But um, yeah, I, I won't forget when I no longer hear the birds singing that there are still people out there that I should be careful about. Or see clearer waters. Have you ever seen the waters around our country? Clearer waters indeed. The only place where I can see clear water is at the tap. 
that I cross for you. I wonder what you crossed, my dear. The, the, the Red Sea with Moses. No, that's nasty of me. But what did you cross for me? What did you cross for me that no one else would have done for me? To make lives filled with peace. And, and, and the worst part is, you know, I believe that there are migrants in the country that truly want to help build up our society, want to be a true member of our society. Thing is, those migrants tend not to play identity politics because they're too busy being part of a society. I'm sorry, but if you need me to say, oh, look at all those foreigners, oh, they're doing a great job, then you are a bastard, a bitch. Because let's be honest, 13% of the NHS is foreigners. And let's assume that all 13% of them are doing a great job. How about the other 87% of the NHS? They're not doing a great job? Because I don't see them represented here. Surely that must be a coincidence. And bring peace to your life too. <laughs> yes. See, it's, 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 it's the wording. I come to bring peace and carry a big gun. Now, that's not my quote, obviously not, but, and I'm sorry, mate, I think you're Japanese, I don't think you're Chinese, don't get me wrong, you're Asian, obviously, but whatever. Um, you don't bring peace to my life. You may want to contribute in trying to make the life of every citizen in this country better, fair enough. That's not the same thing. And in all fairness, bringing peace is a threat, whether you like it or not. Because we bring peace. How do we bring peace? With giant gleaming swords and nice guns. That's that's not the sort of peace we want. Now, well, in all fairness, the peace we are having in our country now has been brought on by a small virus. It's not really peace, though, is it? It's submission. But yeah, very often people think those two things are the same. Come, all you Gretas. You Malalas. You immigrants. And get the fuck out of my country. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that was a joke. But no, I mean, why do we need more immigrants in our countries? What purpose is served by that? Seriously, you come from a country. Obviously, you think the country you came from must be a terrible mess. So why are we not fixing those countries as well? Why do they all have to br bring their problems here? And, and trust you me, those problems are being brought here because this is why Bangladesh is still the capital of acid attacks in the world. But London is a close second. And it's not a European thing to do, you know, acid attacks. No, it's not. And we have uh, Muslims fighting in the street because some of them are Sunni and some of them are Shia. Hell, in the Netherlands, we had an issue not too long ago where uh, Gulen members and, and, and supporters of Erdogan were fighting in the streets in the Netherlands. Why? Because of some political shit in Turkey. We don't need that shit here, let's be honest. So, yeah, you know what? You want to come to our country? Bring something. But don't expect us to be standing here with our arms open and saying, oh, yeah, I know you... Come here, you huddled masses of the world. Fuck that, we're not the USA. Hell, the USA isn't even the USA anymore. Why? Because of migration. Especially unlimited migration. Because the more people of different cultures you pull together, the more strife it will get. You need to give people time to settle it out. And what you definitely need to prevent is making sure that they are not going to build their own colonies within your society. Funny enough, the UK has failed at that. Not just the UK, most Western countries have failed at that. Hell, Birmingham is a large bit Muslim controlled city. Luton, there are a few others. See, this is an issue. This is a problem. This screams that um, immigration might work well, but uh, assimilation does not 
they are creating their own civilizations within our civilization. They have their own customs, they have their own rules, they have their own laws. And funny enough, our government seems to be okay with that. And hence, our society is falling and crumbling. So, no, I, I don't think we should open the gates for more migrants. At least not for the time being. And I know my wife is a migrant. So it's, it's a double, I know. But she's doing everything she can to be part of the Dutch culture. If you do that, then the problems would have been less, I guess. But that's not what's happening right now. Hell, we're not even allowed to say that they should try to become part of our culture. No, no, we have to accept their culture. Where can we go where our culture is still dominant and considered a positive thing? There's no country in the world where we can go. I mean, when Muslims come to the Netherlands or the UK, we have to accept them for their culture. Give them space. Mexicans, give them space. It's their culture. Where can British people go for their culture? Yeah, but British people don't have culture. Bullshit. See, it's, it's, it's the virtue signaling bit that pisses me off. It's the virtue signaling bit that makes me say, where are the maxims? It's not nice of me, I know, I'm sorry, let's continue. See what we have learned. What have you learned? To virtue signal? To demand that people virtue signal towards you. And to get away with it, because hey, the government does it. The BBC seems to do it. The Guardian, for fuck's sake, seems to be all aboard with making it sound like, well, the British people are bastards. Thank God there are foreigners. Bloody hell. It only takes the smallest thing to change the world. Okay, from here on on, it's just going to be faces of people looking really nasty, like this one. So I'm going to click that away. Because, um, yeah, I'm not saying she's ugly. She's not. But that face surely is. Anyway, bunnies, far nicer. I think so. Anyway, the problem isn't that migrants aren't welcome in the Western world. I, I, don't, I don't want to say they are not. Hell, my father comes from a different country than me. My wife comes from a different country than me. I am international. But... The point is, when my father came here, he tried to assimilate. He tried to become part of the Dutch culture. He had his own things, but he tried to be Dutch as well, as does my wife, as do a lot of people I know. No one has a problem with you when you become part of our society. People have a problem with you when you feel that you have the right to tell the society you came into that they have to cater to you. I do not clap for you. If you do a good job, you'll get your pay, and I'm grateful for it. But other than that, don't pretend that you are the face of migration, because you are not. The vast majority of migrants in the UK, in the Netherlands, in Germany, in Belgium, in France, in Sweden, hell, in all of Europe, the vast majority of migrants does not work. They live on social security. Are you sure these are the people you are trying to represent? Because if that's the case, fuck you. If that's not the case, then I would like to thank you for your hard work. And it's definitely appreciated. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end because I had a lot of rambling going on in this one. I know I tend to do that. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. I'd love to hear what you think and I hope to see you all next time.